as a new member of the Intelligence Committee, and, though her and through her dedication, intellect, and willingness to travel, she is quickly becoming a highly influential, influential member on our committee. She also keeps her focus on the people, both the American people as a whole and the intelligence professionals who work every day to keep us safe. The soul. Gentlelady from Alabama is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I stand in support of the Fiscal Year 2014 Intelligence Authorization Act. The Annual Authorization Act is the most substantial oversight mechanism Congress has over the intelligence community. Most of the work within the Intelligence Committee and our community and our work on the Intelligence Committee happen behind closed doors and therefore far from the television cameras. Let me assure you, though, uh, just because Steve Spann is not in the room when we have our regular meetings and hearings does not mean there is lack of opinion, discussion, and debate. There is rigorous back and forth about the necessity um, and the necessary number of core contractors within the intelligence community, how to best exploit and preserve the documents from the Osama bin Laden raid, and the appropriate ways to respond to unauthorized public disclosure of covert actions. We ask hard questions in this committee of our witnesses. We read and study legal authorities for U.S. engagement around the world and ensure that the intelligence professionals tasked with protecting America not only have the tools they need to do their jobs, but are held accountable for their actions. Director Clapper said recently that at the heart of our work is our people. This bill makes some important changes in the workforce of the intelligence community. It requires the Director of National Intelligence to ensure that contractors have in place security measures consistent with the DNI standards for intelligence community networks. It requires the DNI, uh, it requires the DNI to ensure insider threat capabilities of the IC apply to contractors. The bill also requires that the DNI will submit a strategic plan for improving the process of periodic reinvestigation so those individuals who have security clearance are interviewed on a routine basis to ensure that they continue to uphold the standards and requirements necessary to access classified information. On a final note about the workforce of the intelligence community, Director Clapper continued a diverse workforce is critical to the mission success. He is right. The threats America faces are complex, ranging from proliferation of nuclear weapons to terrorism to Russian plans and intentions. We need people who understand all cultures and backgrounds and who can use their unique experience for creative solutions. The IC has made some, some progress on diversity. Uh, minority representation in the largest intelligence agencies increased to 24% in 2013, yet there's still work to be done. Recently, the CIA released an unclassified report on women in leadership and found that women in the CIA who sought greater responsibility were hindered by organizational and societal challenges. Indeed, throughout the major intelligence agencies, female hiring has remained below 40% for the fourth consecutive year. Women make up 51% of the general population in 2013, but only 39% of the workforce in the IC community. In addition, the percentage of female managers uh, was only 35.5%. CIA is reviewing the situation of its minority and women officers, and I commend that initiative, and I strongly urge other agencies within the IC to do the same. This bill and the IC efforts are steps in the right direction. However, we have to stay in stride and look for efforts to create a more inclusive and equitable and diverse workforce. Going forward, I hope to look at the status of women and minority workers throughout the IC and how to increase their management ranks. Our workforce is our greatest asset and our greatest strength. There are many parts of this bill which cannot be discussed on the floor. The United States keeps secrets for a reason. However, let me say that the intelligence professionals at each of the 16 IC agencies go to work every day to do their job, keep America number one, and to protect the homeland. I want to commend the chairman, Chairman Rogers, and ranking member Ruppersberger for their leadership in the IT, in, in, on the Intel Committee. It was a committee assignment that I was um, not sure I wanted to accept at first, but I know how important our national security is. And I want to thank your staff, Mr. Chairman, and the ranking member staff for helping new members come up to speed. Indeed, what we do here is so critically important. 
Uh, the FY14 Intel authorization is a good bill, and I urge my colleagues to support it, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlelady yields back. Gentleman from Maryland. Yes, I reserve, and I have no more speakers. Gentleman reserve. Gentleman from Michigan. Uh, thank you.